Hey my amazing people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. Now, in one of the previous videos I made was about how actually Gutenberg is threatening the theme and the page builder market. And in this video, I want to show you an example of a website that has been built using Gutenberg and you can have this website yourself in just under five minutes. Everything is for free on this website and it has only two plugins installed, the Gutenberg Blocks plugin and a contact form plugin. It's a fully functional website, just like any other website you would visit on the internet. Now, when you look over here, this is the homepage, has a transparent header, has call to action buttons over here, has a navigation, has a background video running, and all other sections look over here. We have these sticky images on scroll, and we have, you know, this hero section, we have another hero section, we have another hero section over here with three columns, and a testimonial section over here. And over down below here, we have a banner that is actually running across the whole website. Let's go to the about page and, and see how it actually looks like. And it also has this hero section where we also have our header as a transparent header. And we have this other section over here. And I mean, you can change these blocks to anything, to any other block that you want on your website. And I tell you, it is surprising how fast we have got here using Gutenberg. Then uh, let's go to the blog page. And this is how the blog archive page actually looks like. We have this hero section over here and another hero section down below here. And you can style up this the way you want. Now let's go and have a look at the contact page. And I still have to mention that this was fully built using Gutenberg and only two plugins. One of the plugins was the Gutenberg blocks that actually enables you to have more Gutenberg blocks on your Gutenberg website and also the contact form plugin, which in this case is the WP forms plugin. And that is what is displayed over here. So you can imagine having a website running natively on WordPress and having only two plugins. Of course, for an operational website, you'll need something like WordFence and also a caching plugin to basically help you improve on the performance of your website. But now I want to take you to the back end of this website so you have a look at how it looks like. So straight to the dashboard, I am first of all going to go to the plugins area and you see the plugins that we're actually running. So in this case, I imported this website from the Astra starter template. So once you import the website, you no longer need the starter templates plugin active. So I'll deactivate that. Then I had also used the WP reset to basically reset my WordPress website. So I also don't need this plugin, so I'll deactivate it. Now we have only two plugins that we actually need for this website to run. The Spectra plugin, and this is actually the plugin that I shared with you in one of the videos when the 2.0 version was released. And below here is the WP Forms plugin that enables you to collect emails off your WordPress website. Now let's go to the appearance and you realize that I have the Astra theme because the people who developed Spectra are also the people who run Astra. And if you import the starter sites or the starter templates, you will have Astra theme installed by default and then you are good to get started. What happens when you import this website from the Astra starter templates? When you come over here to the library, you realize that all the media that is on the website will be imported right over here in the media gallery of your WordPress website. Now, if we go to the home page, you realize that we have a background video that plays automatically over here in this hero section. And that video is also included over here in the media library called preparing food playing on the home page hero. But now the question is how do actually the pages look like? So we'll go straight to the pages, uh, all pages. And over right here, we have the about, blog contact home page so if we open up like for example the about page and here we are we have the title of the page we have the hero section we have these other columns all gutenberg blocks and also this other over right here now when we open up our about page here you will realize that all these sections are corresponding to what is displayed on the actual page so for example when we go back here, we have the first hero and then the second hero, which is having three columns. And that is what is displayed over right here. So when you click on this block, you get options to actually make changes to that specific block. And you can still edit uh, a specific block by deleting, adding text, or basically adding your own block. For example, if I go to browse all, you realize that there are all other blocks over here included. And more specific, those from Spectra, over right here just like you remember how we've been doing in elementor when you open up the elementor editor the elementor widgets are showing up over right here so i think this is giving us really more power and getting creative and having more options i mean like 
before we were like, I think all oh, Elementor is the only one that is going to give me perfect responsive settings. I think that is changing now. When you look over here on the tablet mode, you realize that you can actually make changes. For example, when I come over here to the advanced option, check, I am able to hide this on a desktop or on a tablet or on a mobile. And at the same time, I have other display conditions over here, state, role, browser, and operating system. So that means that I can hide this basing on an operating system someone is visiting my website on. If someone using Mac OS, I can block them from seeing this specific block. As well, also on the mobile, you will still have the same possibilities to edit and make custom changes based on the device that you want to effect the changes. Now, the other thing I have to mention is that the combination between Astra and Spectra are giving you some of these possibilities. And the fact that these data templates are from Astra make the whole ecosystem run smoothly. So when we go over here to our dashboard and we go to appearance, customize, and by going to the customize option, then we are going into the theme customizer. And this is the Astra theme customizer. And over right here, you can make changes on your website, how you want it to look like. For example, if you want to disable the transparent header over here, you just come over here to the header builder. You can disable the transparent header over right here. And here is the complete header builder. In the free version of Astra, you can make changes to the logo, how it appears, and even switching the logos on a transparent header. You can as well make changes to your navigation over here. And over right here is the site navigation as well as the call to action button, what you see here. So in the case where you want to make a change on this button, just select the button over here in the header builder and make that change over here. For example, by now. Now, when we go right over here to our website, I'll simply reload this and you realize that this now actually changes. So how do you get started if you want to build something exactly the same? One thing you have to have is a WordPress installation. And once you have that, go to your WordPress plugins area and install the standard templates plugin. So for example, when I come over here to plugins, install plugins, I am going to go to starter templates i'll activate that and i'll go to the library and inside the library i can choose what kind of starter templates i want to work with do i want to work with the block editor starter templates elementor templates or beaver builder templates in this case i chose uh, the block editor starter templates category and automatically everything that is shown over here is compatible with a block editor and you can make specific changes using the block editor. So in this case, I actually went to the blog section and looked up for the food blog. And all I did was to select this blog here, add a custom logo if you have one, and in two minutes or less, you'll have the website installed and running. So now the big question is, what is the way forward? Why am I even making this video? This video is first of all is for educational purposes only and also to share with you what is really happening and what you should expect. You don't really have to love Gutenberg because myself I've never loved Gutenberg but if Gutenberg is giving me the possibilities to do what I want to do in a short period of time, having better performance and possibly good tools to use, then why do I have to really stick to something else? Anyway, those are my very two thoughts about Gutenberg, not only about the threat it poses for themes and page viewers, but also the possibilities it brings to us as web designers and creatives. Anyway, I will be excited to read about your thoughts in the comment box below. And on that, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video brought you value and see you in the next one. Have a good time and goodbye.